All right, this question asks us to find the total resistance of the parallel circuit using the product over the sum method. We know it's a parallel circuit because current has multiple paths to flow. And we're asked to find the equivalent. Now the product over the sum method, the way it works, well, I'll give you the formula first. It's R equivalent equals R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Basically how it works is we take two resistors and we reduce them down to one resistor. Then we take these two resistors and again reduce it down to one. So let's see how this works. The trick is to take the last two resistors and reduce it down to one. So R2 times R3 divided by R2 plus R3. So R equivalent equals 20 ohms times 17.4 ohms divided by 20 ohms plus 17.4 ohms. So R equivalent equals 348 ohms divided by 37.4 ohms. Our equivalent equals 9.3 ohms. So essentially we took these two and reduced it down to something that's 9.3 ohms, that resistor there. So here we have it here. So now we're going to take these two resistors here and reduce it down to 1. So R equivalent equals R1 times R2, 3, divided by R1 plus R2, 3. So R equivalent equals 10 ohms times 9.3 ohms, divided by 10 ohms plus 9.3. 3 ohms. So R equivalent equals 93 ohms divided by 19.3 ohms. So R equivalent equals 4.82 ohms. So here we can write 4.82 ohms, which is what the voltage source sees at 4.82 ohms. So it's correct to say the total resistance of the circuit is 4.82 ohms.